in this video i'm going to discuss the stack through array in java all right so please do subscribe my channel so stack is a linear data structure the stack follows lifo or last in first out order when it comes to stack operations uh, and two important operations of this stack are push and pop push and pop are performed at only one end and that end is called the top now let's discuss uh, the operations of the stack first one is push uh, push is the process of inserting a data element at the top at the top of the stack all right if there is no overflow what is overflow a stack is full that means a stack is full if the stack is full you cannot add or push any element into the stack after that pop removing a data element from the top of the stack if there is no underflow so when it comes to push overflow we have to take care of when it comes to pop we have to take care of underflow all right uh, that simply means underflow means a stack is empty definitely when there is no element what you will pop now when we talk about the peak peak returns the value or the data available at the top without removing it from the stack means you don't have to remove the data from the stack it only simply returns from the function uh, what is available at the top and now display to display data elements of a stack in the leafo order that that is very very important never display the data element in the normal order okay now students we discuss push here and you see one array in front of you that is actually going to implement our concept of a stack what is the concept of a stack that whatever we perform uh, or operation we perform that is always perform at one end and that end is called top so top is here in the form of a variable over there and now we have got these data elements which are to be inserted or pushed into the stack so let's begin with that as it's been said that everything is uh, performed at the top so right now locations are 0 1 2 3 and 4 uh, in the size of 5 uh, uh, you know an array with the size 5 so what will be the value of uh, the top that is a big question if somebody ask you where i have to enter the data so you will always say that i have to enter the data at the uh, uh, st of 0 because st is the name of the array and 0 is the location but we have to enter data at the top so our statement is going to be st top equals to 5 all right but top is not zero right now so what i need to do the best value for the top is going to be what comes before zero that is minus 1 so here we give the initial value to the top minus 1 so here we have to input 5 so right now uh, first i have to write top plus plus and then assign 5 to the top so here comes the 5 so right now where is top top is at zero okay after that we have to enter 55 i have to perform same step again that is going to be top plus plus all right and then what is to be there st top equals to what 55 then after that i come again so here i have 5 55 so where is top top is 1 now then again top plus plus st of top equals to next value is triple 5 so here it's going to be 5 5 5 triple 5 after that top increase by 1 st of top equals to what is what is going to be there next value is 15 so it's it's going to have 15 all right everyone now you can see here again i increase the value 50 uh, by 1 stop here the is 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 15 so uh, now the top is uh, pointing towards 2 so 0 1 2 so 5 55 triple 5 and then next value is 15 so it's going to be where is the top top is going to point towards what 3 all right after that students now we go for the last value st top equals to 75 
when I do this so top is pointing to the 4 so here the data is going to be 5 55 triple 5 15 and 75 all right now suppose somebody asks you to insert data 105 okay what will be your response you will say that there is no space because 5 55 triple 5 15 75 so stack in this situation is full all right and this situation what do we call this we call we call it overflow all right so in case of overflow no push operation can be performed now when we look at these steps we can sum it up like this we can write a function void push int d and here we have to first check overflow overflow with an if condition if the overflow not there then we go for else we push the data how do we push we increase the top by one all right and then we write st of top equals to d okay we close that now what about the overflow so we write here system dot out dot print ln and it is overflow here i am writing this statement otherwise in the exam in the question whatever the message is given you have to follow exactly these are the general steps i am writing just to simplify things for you so that you could do any stack program much faster all right now what is the way when when we how to interpret that what is overflow technically in the form of a program what will the statement here so it's going to be it is only possible to push the data when the uh, top is less than length of the array all right okay now what to write here when top equals to top equals to what st dot length okay st dot length minus one because the moment top reaches to four which is actually uh, equal to st dot length minus one that means it is full because here you can see the tops value was four and actually this four was nothing but st dot length right minus one all right so never write a parenthesis after that because uh, in the uh, java uh, the length uh, of the string is always uh, you know uh, returned through the function length which has parenthesis but this is not a function it is a keyword which is actually representing the length of the array okay so here the complete quote for the push I hope you will be comfortable with the push all right now students we are going to discuss the pop operation and here uh, you can see the stack is full now and the top is pointing to the location number four okay or tops value is four right now uh, these are the elements in this order they have been pushed and now when I have to take out or perform the push operation pop operation what is pop operation pop is to remove data elements from the top in LIFO order last in first out if there is no underflow that means stack is em empty okay underflow means stack is empty when there is no underflow then only you can perform the pop so here we go uh, first element has been uh, which has been taken out or popped is the element which is available at the top okay so last in this has been recently pushed so that will was taken out first 75 is out and top after that becomes uh, 3 now the data element available at the top will be taken out now after this uh, 15 has been uh, taken out after that tops value is 2 then 555 five, five will be taken out then top value will be 2 uh, 1 then 55 will be taken out after that this 5 will be taken out now uh, the tops value was 0 once this has been taken out now the value of top will be what it will be minus one always remember that so at this time when the top is uh, minus one and you can see the stack is empty that means underflow 
now somebody ask you to perform the pop operation can you perform no you cannot all right so this is the basic idea and you can see that every time uh, we have uh, popped a data element what we have done we have to reduce the top by one so in the push we increase the top by one and in the pop we what decrease or decrement the top by one so that is the most important step students now we sum it up uh, top minus minus but before doing so we need to store that data which is going to be popped into the variable so we take st the stack and we write here top right that has been stored into d and then we reduce it by one that these are the steps but this can only be performed when the underflow is there is not there so underflow kab hota hai when the top equals to minus one when the top is equal to minus one the situation is called underflow so now we uh, write a function for this so here we write int which will return the data which has been popped or some other number which is a bit unique to uh, represent that there was a uh, underflow so int pop we have all right and here we have uh, int d d contains some value like i give uh, minus 999 like this and to represent the underflow so if uh, top is not equal to minus 1 all right that means there are elements in the stack so when it is not equal to minus 1 then what do you need to do you have to store the data which is at the top into d all right and after that reduce top by 1 all right simple and after that you just write return what d right if d contains minus 999 that means uh, uh it is under flow if some other value that means the popped has been performed properly and this returned value will be taken care of by the main function when we design the complete program second version of this function is if you write void pop and here we write um, int d right now it's zero and uh, we write here if top equals to minus 1 then we write system dot out dot print print ln and here we write uh underflow in the double quotes underflow that is the message that shows that stack is empty else all right here we write um uh, d equal to uh, st of top and um uh, then we write top minus minus then we write system dot out dot print ln and we write d is popped all right so else and then finally the function is closed that that was the first version and this is the second version whichever is uh, you want to use you can do that if you want to do it directly you can do it without the d also you can simply have uh, you know print the value of top and then reduce the top by one as simple as that so i hope everybody has got the pop operation clearly all right thank you student we are going to discuss now peak peak is a very simple uh, uh, process it simply returns the data available at the top so data if it is not available means uh, no data is there that is the underflow so when the underflow is not there then only the data which is available at the you know uh, top will be returned so uh, and data will not be removed actually from the stack it will be there but it simply returns so here uh, it is an int type of stack uh, or the array so int will be the return type and here we can have um, peak function we name it as peak and uh, what do we do uh, we return the data available at the, at the top so if we write if top is uh, not uh, is not equal to 
minus 1 all right then uh, you will simply have uh, mm, i and tv we have some minus 999 all right and we have uh, we can have the data available at the top so that is st is the name of the stack and uh, here we specify top all right uh, and return what v well that is a code for that so it's simply returning the data minus 999 i've taken just because just to represent if there is a underflow so whenever the value is returned in whichever function there it can be validated all right i hope everybody has a clear idea of the peak now it's quite easy students you are going to discuss the display uh, of the data into the stack so it, this too will be performed in the leafo order by displaying the data you know uh, elements of the stack we have to follow leaf order that's important okay now we look at this array uh, or the stack where four elements are there uh, last element is available at the top that is uh, three so the value of the top is three name of the array is st okay which is actually representing the stack now what is the most important thing is that i don't have to modify the value of top for this uh, display function why because uh, top is only modified when we perform the push and pop because in the pop it is uh, minus minus in the push it is plus plus because if we remove uh, if you reduce uh, this by one or decrement this by one then automatically other elements will be ignored it means that will not be the part of the stack because the status of the stack is always uh, decided through the top all right now how to go about it I have to first take another variable i and d say i and we assign that the value of top to i and after that I have to display the data element in the leafo order so print ln and here I will write st of not top it is i all right so the element which is available at the at location number 3 or the top will be displayed and then it has to move to 2 that means it has to be reduced by 1 but here what do we reduce we reduce i by 1 so i minus minus all right and that has to be repeated and how many times it will be repeated that will be decided by this condition i is greater than equal to 0 we are going the reverse order all right so we have closed it here now these steps can be kept inside a function so function is void display all right so here we close the function so i hope everybody has understood all these uh, you know operations of the stack thanks a lot